Thank you, Baron Stein. Um, I'm going to be brief uh, to allow uh, the session to continue with the next two talks at the suggestion uh, of Professor Ashraf Hatem as well. Uh, in addition, if I may, allow me to say that uh, we're suggesting that after lunch, that will be the end of the day, and we will shift the last session for tomorrow, and therefore, that will give ample time uh, for people after lunch to do what they want, and there is an offer from the Aswan Heart Center staff to take people who wish to visit the Aswan Heart Center to go around uh, and have an early and enjoyable evening. I hope. Thank you. So my talk is uh, relatively short, as I have indicated. And it uh, deals with, my title is, from primary care, uh, from primary to tertiary care. And that's obvious because our group, as you all know, has been involved with tertiary health care. But we are fully aware that we cannot and should not uh, act in isolation. And uh, in this short talk, I will talk about the case of need, why do we need the whole thing, and uh, I will just indicate the obvious, and that is health care as a continuum. It's not just tertiary or primary or secondary. And the role of NGOs, which our institution is one. And I will end up my talk very quickly uh, by uh, the Aspen Heart Center, uh, what, uh, as an example of tertiary center, and stress then the need for links to the population. We cannot uh, sit in an ivory tower keeping people with tertiary care without going to the community. And I'm reminded by uh, the New England Heart Program, for example. Uh, Boston children had excellent results, but Aldo Castaneda, who was the professor and head of the hospital at the time, said, but you can't assess our results of what happens in the hospital. You, can, you only can assess our results by what happens in the community. And he went on to associate the hospital with the New England Heart Program and showed if you do that, you show that your impact on the population is very poor. Even if you say our hospital is great. So I'm just saying that, that it is essential to link tertiary care to primary care to the population, that's where we want to be. So, uh, the case of need, I think to this audience, I do not need to stress the fact that um, healthcare is needed because uh, the burden of disease, and in this case I'm concentrating on cardiovascular disease, uh, there are 17.8 million deaths a year in 2008, and 80% of the burden of disease, uh, both cardiovascular and otherwise, was borne by low and middle income countries, which is disastrous. So there is a case of need. And in the developing or high and uh, low and middle income countries, there's a higher number of children and therefore, they are suffering from many preventable diseases. And there are massive inequalities, and that continues today. For example, that's exemplified by the fact that childhood annual mortality in one year is 152 per thousand in Guinea Bissau, in Africa, versus 2.5 in Singapore in the same year. So this massive difference 
and therefore that is there is a need for action because this is unsustainable if you go on like that and then my next point is the obvious and that is that healthcare is a continuum at one time people would say oh you're in competition with prevention oh more tertiary high tech medicine is taking our resources absolute nonsense because it's all a continuum we benefit from each other and we have to be conscious of prevention which benefits a lot from tertiary health care uh, primary health care as we have heard because we want to get to the community and secondary health care we have to have the hospitals in between general hospital and tertiary care and they all has have to be linked uh, and integrated, not sitting in a tertiary healthcare, uh, isolated from the community, which is disaster, could be disastrous. Now, uh, we talked about this before, uh, the role of NGOs, uh, and if we ask the questions which uh, Jane Somerville used to ask uh, Budo, can we go back? Uh, who cares? Uh, who acts? Who pays? And uh, the answers are obvious. Who cares? It has to be every human being. Who acts? Uh, everybody should get together. And as it happens, cardiac pro I mean professionals in healthcare see the suffering firsthand, and they they are in a position. Uh, to also get together, we meet a lot, and have access to each other, and produce small groups uh, which can have, um, can be very effective in initiating quick wins, small but quick, uh, which can have a sustained effort and can actually add up to something uh, very substantial. Who, pay, who pays? I think a uh, small consortia to start with, uh, many small donors, and that is uh, exemplified in Aswan Heart Center, and I'll talk about that a little uh, more. Uh, choosing a site is very important uh, if you are having a dedicated Heart Center. I'm going to give you this uh, as a, an example of uh, Aswan Heart Center, if you allow me. Uh, and that is uh, this type of uh, NGO, or indeed uh, with healthcare, global. It has to be global, available to everybody. And we have heard about uh, access and. Uh, Magdi told us about this uh, uh, massive variation in different countries. So we have to have it available to everybody, regardless of color, religion, or uh, income. Free of charge at entry, like the NHS. The highest standards possible. And importantly, training physicians and technicians, everybody to be a sustainable. I'll go very quickly. Uh, to show the Aswan Heart Center. And you are all invited, if you wish, after lunch uh, to go and visit the center. This is the pediatric intensive care. And this is the output of the uh, hospital in terms of cardiac surgery, which uh, is now approaching 1,000 a year. And over five uh, years it has increased dramatically. The same was cardiac catheterization and interventional cardiology. Uh, we are blessed by Magdi's hat, who uh, always reminds us of cost effectiveness and what we're doing, and you've heard him, and his massive criticism of uh, and hate for wastage, which is fantastic. And uh, so the net result, if you know, about your cost effectiveness, 
and you can calculate it, although he says it, it's difficult, yes it is, but the cost per patient has been going down uh, dramatically and you can now have uh, the, the, the cost of a complex heart operation going down to about $5,000, which is unheard of in the world. But also that's coupled with efficiency. Uh, research is a basic component, and we will hear more about research and we had from Professor Rashad Bersoum, but it has to be integrated. So we have an integrated uh, research center, <laughs> which is, uh, sorry, uh, uh, in the hospital, but also there is a research building attached uh, to the hospital, which has a conference center, as well as uh, a follow-up uh, outpatient and, importantly, a uh, patient hotel in this new building. And you're all invited to see them. That's the staff of the hospital which has grown. So in this short presentation, I try to show that all aspects of healthcare are interdependent uh, and need to be closely linked. There's no, nothing like prevention versus uh, high tech medicine, and we're not in competition. We need to work together, and uh, we need to be involving the population, and that the NGOs have a, a major role to play with all the stakeholders. Thank you very much.